TransformersMatrix.com Video Review What up Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix bringing another Transformers Revenge of the Fallen movie toy review. This time of Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen movie leader Optimus Prime. So here we got Optimus Prime in this truck mode. Very nice um, upgrade from his last uh, leader mode. You can see the Autobot symbol right there and the flames on there and the windshield. You can see all the gears now through the windshield. It's clear. One thing that's nice is that uh, his hood flames, uh, he doesn't have the blue part right there now. It's uh, it's fully blue. He has a nice uh, Autobot symbol on the grill right there. It's very nice. Only has clear translucent headlights this time. Also they did actually add the uh, flames on the side here which the original movie and Premium Prime didn't have and the flames go right there. Also if you notice that the back panel now just like in the movie has nice flat it's not a big separation gap like the last one had. Also the all the uh, back um, uh, uh, tail lights have a little detail on there it's very nice still has a little section if they ever get I don't know if Prime will have a trailer in the new movie but one thing that's unfortunate Hasbro uh, went the cheap round and gave us plastic wheels I know since the anime leaders they've given us plastic wheels so I miss the rubber tires I, mean, I guess it's too much to ask Hasbro but just a little nitpicking thing also I like how the smokestacks are here because they won't get all warped they'll move out of place so you won't. I don't know why the 25th anniversary Prime doesn't get rubber smokestacks he could they could use that and then for the safety standards because Prime needs the long smokestacks real quick just want to show the comparisons with the new Revenge of the Fallen movie Leo Prime and the original one um, you can see here that what I was talking about that um, the flame paint being missing on the original one the, the original one had blue translucent headlights whereas this one has clear um, you can see the grill sections because of the way it transforms is different and also these parts um, were a little annoying so it's just nice to have a very flush one this one had the blue translucent headlights and you can see that the flames are a little different too um, this one could have had the red I don't know why but it, it's okay it's just a little nitpicking thing yeah you can see what I'm talking about how the original one had the little separation there and this one doesn't this is a definitely more screen accurate yeah th this one doesn't have a gun but I'm sure if you wanted to you can take this gun and put it on here I don't know, holding in alt mode, but like on the original Prime. One thing I want to point out here, he does roll pretty good, but because of the transformation, these very back wheels, um, they don't tab into back here, so when you roll them, um, right now they're doing okay, but sometimes like they get disproportionate and they're not totally in line, so he'll roll still pretty good. It won't affect him that much, but you just have to be careful how you transform them. If you notice this button right here, it's very subtle. If you press it, press this button, look at the windshield. You can see that there's flashing light sounds and it makes uh, truck sounds. Not the big beep beep, but still pretty cool. And if you hold down the button, it still makes the sound. But once you take off, I'll stop. So that's a pretty cool touch. Hey, Bob, I just want to take this time to promote my movie, X Men Origins Wolverine. I gotta do a review. Okay, now I'm going to show you the transformation. Now this transformation is very involved and it's definitely little kids are going to have a tough time with this. So definitely it's going to take you a few times to get down like it did for me. So follow me now. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take these smokestacks areas and we're going to unfold and then the, these side pieces here, right? We're going to take these, lift them up. So do for the same for both sides. All right, so you got that. Now this top part here, we're going to fold this back and this little hinge will fold back into here. Now what you want to do is push these forward like that, so push these little parts forward. So now you're going to fold this part in and then fold this part will tab into this part right here, so we'll tab into this part right here, so do that and this will tab in there. And then fold this part and rotate this and then this will tab into there like that so you got it like this now this next part there's three different ways you can do it see the box what it, the box has you do is that there's a hole right there in the tab and you have you can have it the back parts like this right now that makes it look a little bit more back heavy and so there is one way you can rotate this and 
you can put tab this part into that it fortunately doesn't tab into place that well like that so this will kind of hang loose like here um, so what I do and this is I think the best way to do it since this will be the back anyway I rotate this the side and just fold it down like this because it even though it doesn't tab in the place it stays in place better if you had it hanging on the side and it's not showing like if you had it up here so that's what I do it, I think it looks the best um, especially and I'll show you in, once it's finished what I mean here so I, I just keep it like that now what we're going to do is that we're gonna separate this grill part from uh, this section right here so we'll have it like that we're gonna fold these parts up like this so fold these little back sections up so fold them like that so now what you want to do while it's like this, lift these wheels up right here on the side real quick because this will make it easier. Now you're going to straighten the legs here. So straighten the legs because this will be uh, his waist right here. And now with this section right here, what you'll see this tab, you'll put this in the hole and when you do that, listen to this, it makes a transformation sound so cool. We're going to take these sections and these will fold into this part of the leg here. And what you could do, the box is to leave them like this, but you can uh, move them to the side right here and make them more uh, movie accurate. So these will tab into place here on the side of the leg. Then you rotate these loads forward like that. Separate the feet here like that. Now you want to fold these parts out. These are the toes. So fold the toes out Then flip down. Uh, the, the front part of the grill into them. Now these you want to fold into the feet here which is really cool they snap into place. So now we got them more than halfway done. So front part of the arms you want to separate them and then you want to take these side panels and they will come out like that. Now the front part of the grill will come out or the windshield so bring the arms out here and then what, I, what you want to do is lift these up bring them to the side here and this will be his head. Fold into here right here. We'll, we'll focus on that in a bit here. So let's do his arms first. So his arms here, what you want to do is rotate them around. So you want to pull out the arm like this and then this part right here will tab into there. So you have the arm nice right here and then take this part of the arm and it will tab into there nicely. You want to lift his little, um, this little part up right here. Do the same for the other side, so you want to pull this part up and rotate that up here. Rotate this up here, and then this part of the arm you fold into fold into here right there. Now what you want to do, this part of his windshield will tab into these side parts. So put that in here. There you go, so that will slide into place. So now do the same for the other side here. This hole will go into this part of the tab right here, fold into nicely, so do the same for that side. Do for the arm, little gas can here, you want to rotate that up here. Do for these panels, you want to fold this part in, and then fold out to the side here, and make sure the arms are like that. So for this one, you just want to rotate this up here, and then you want to fold that in and place place it to the side like that. Last thing you do for these parts right here, you rotate them up. And now this has a little hole right here, and this will tab into uh, this part right here. So you just make sure you line it up here. Do the same for the other side here. So line it up. And see the back looks so much better like that. And there you got Revenge of Fallen movie leader Optimus Prime in his badass robot mode. Now I really like his head sculpt. They really took uh, what was best of the premium Movie Prime head sculpt and made it even better. I really like his Autobot somewhere right there. Um, all the detail on him is very nice. You can see in here, um, like with his hands. Oh, the one thing that's bad uh, that they did is that he doesn't have fully articulated fingers in his hands, but he still has a hole, so if he has a gun or anything, which he probably will have with the jet fire, um, he can use it there. This very nice detail. You can see with his feet and everything. Um, it's just an amazingly beautiful figure. I just, I can't get enough of this robot mode. For articulations, Prime's head can only go left and right, but it can go full left and right, so that's pretty good. And with this part, it can go up and down, so it gives a lot more articulation. His arms can rotate 360 degrees. 
I can go in and out. They bend at the elbow here, and they root swivel at the elbow. But because of his swords, it kind of prevents him, as well as this part, that he still has good articulation there. His wrist can also rotate 360 degrees. And no waist articulation. His legs can go forward and back, in and out. They rotate uh, swivel at uh, the upper part of the leg here, and they also swivel at his feet, which are on ball joints, so they can go up and down, left and right. So he has quite a great deal of posability, and because of his big feet, he can do a lot of cool action poses. One of Prime's features, if you see this little button right here, if you press it down, boom! He has this big translucent uh, sword, which you've seen from the first movie, and it's very nice orange translucent plastic. Um, it has a lot of uh, Cybertronic symbols on it, so that's really nice that it has it. But wait, there's more! He doesn't just have one, but he has two swords! Double the blades, double the prime, double the fun, oh yeah! What'd you say, Rimfire? You got two extra large pizzas? Well, I can handle it! One uh, feature that Prime also has, if you lift down his little hatch right here and you press it down... I am Optimus Prime! Yes! Um, all the gears move, uh, his chest pops up, his eyes of glow green, and he says, and it's Peter Cullen's voice, and he says, I am Optimus Prime. So that's really I cool. I wish it said more like Transformer Rollout and everything, but it's really cool that you have a Peter Cullen talking prime to him. What more could you ask for? Size comparison time. So here you can see the Revenge of the Fallen Prime. It's a good inch taller than it's the premium movie prime. So he's grown uh, a little bit since the first one. And he's a lot taller than anime leader Megatron. So yeah, this they definitely made up for size in the leader class figures. Besides the Masterpiece Prime, this is the best Optimus Prime figure ever. I mean, he actually talks with a Peter Cullen voice. He has, you know, his transformation is a little crazy. It's really fun, and once you get it down, it's it's really actually a lot of fun, just like the first Prime. It's definitely not super frustrating like um, Universe Galvatron or Masterpiece Megatron, and or uh, trans scanning Optimus Prime. If you're going to get one Revenge of the Fallen uh, toy, you definitely have to get the Prime. He is amazing, standalone figure. Um, he has the best alt mode of any Optimus Prime in any incarnation. He's just a simply amazing toy, a must have figure. 10 out of 10 all the way, you gotta own him now once he comes out. So if you guys enjoyed my review, stay tuned for more uh, Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like, and this is Sean Long, rolling out. Oh, <laughs>